Hola, I want to do a quick video with using the products that I got for the August BoxyCharm um, products. So if you want to know how I achieved this look, please keep on watching. Oops, I did open it before I started recording. But just so you guys know, I did have a little mishap with my phone the whole time of the video. It kept dying on me. So there are going to be some missing clips, and I do apologize for that. But either way, the end result you will be able to see. So I hope you like it. I did go ahead and start with the Wander iPad gel pads. Uh, which are awesome. I really did like them. So I put on one per one, which, of course, de que otra manera lo vas a hacer. But they were pretty easy, but they were pretty gunky as well. So I did leave them on for about 20 minutes okay. as per the back of the packet says to leave them on 15 to 20 minutes. So that's what I did. And it says to just pat this in ever so softly. And what I like to do also because it, um, I know that I read somewhere that whatever you put on your eyes because our eye area is so sensitive. You could also put it on your lips. It also works great for your lips. Because our lips are also another area where it is very, very sensitive. So, yeah. So, I always do that. And plus, the creams are, you know, wrinkle-free. And it's supposed to make it look really nice and soft. And I actually do like the way they um, made my underneath my eyes look. So, that's awesome. Okay. So, let's go ahead. What I'm going to do first, I usually don't do this first, um, but I'm going to go ahead and start with the palette, the eyeshadow. So I'm going to go ahead and do, as you guys already seen on the title of the um, short tutorial, um, that I'm going to do the smoky eye with what I, uh, what I received on um, in our um, BoxyCharm um, box this August. Uh, which is my first time, and I love it. I cannot wait. I'm just so glad that I subscribed um, to the box and so I can get a lot more things, and especially full size. So, you can't beat that. So, this is the Laura P. Laura P. Oops. The Laura Lee palette, uh, the party animal. So, again, I'm sure you guys seen a bunch of tutorials on these palettes, but just that. Um... Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. You know, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm far from it. Uh, I just really like makeup. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just start as normal and we'll play. We'll go from there. So we're going to go ahead and start with priming the eyes. Um, I saw on Yoki. I just started following Yoki. I forget her name. I'll insert um, her name, her YouTube name, and uh, maybe a picture of her as well. Um, she does amazing tutorials, especially um, porque también es chocolate como yo. So I think she's from like the islands somewhere. So cause she has kind of an accent, um, but she does amazing tutorials. She does really bright colors. I mean, they come out awesome. So um, from her, I got a little bit of inspiration. So let's go ahead and start with priming the eyes. And today I'm going to prime the eyes with Boo Boo Cover Up. Um, and so, yeah, that's the name of it, boo-boo cover-up. All right, boo. So, so I don't want to get that much. It's just a little squeezy bottle. So let's go ahead. I can already tell I grabbed too much. But what we can do as well is do it for the, for the brows. I think for the brows, I'm going to need a little bit of a more peachy tone. 
because you see how this is really white. Now, I know that Yoki said, and if I'm saying her name wrong, I'm so sorry. She said, you want a white color, you know, a pretty light color shade to go on the eyes. So, and then that way, it really stands out. Ooh, let me turn Ooh, getting hot. So, now we're going to go ahead and put our face on, and we'll do everything else, and then go from there. So, yay. Today, I'm going to go ahead and use Smashbox, the poor one, um, for the primer. I really do like this one. I like this one and the clear one. Um, I love the, the pore because in this area, I really have um, really huge pores. And so I mostly make sure that I rub in, in that area. And then um, I only have this with me right now. Panchito's over there. He's upset. I had to put him in the in the crepe because you know that's why when I do my tutorials, all the barking and stuff, that's who you hear. That's who you hear is Panchito, and he's so cute. And he's he's not even one yet, but he's my baby. But you know he just be going all crazy. Like Lexi, she's already trained. She knows, and she's so calm. She's completely the opposite of what um what my teeth is but okay so let's go ahead and do that I love doing that look how sharp boy can cut you I was watching uh, this one gal that I used to work with and now she works um, she no longer works for the company that I work for but and she moved to Seattle, but she's now working with a like a makeup company. I forget what it's called. And so she does tutorials. And so um yeah, I was watching her. She was using like the the actual brush with the um concealer and she kept like tugging it and I was like, hey. At the time I was like, hey girl, just a heads up. Okay, so you know, I mean, not a heads up, you know, because it's so sensitive, that area with all the wrinkles and stuff. This is the um, Rimmel Kate Times Rimmel line. And this is just a uh, moisturizing balm that I always put on. Um, this is like the second time that I put it on. My lips are kind of dry. And I wanted to do, I wanted to try this one out. So this is the the um, lip plumper from um, LA Girl. So... Before I do that, I want to go ahead and put that on. So, today I'm going to use the Makeup Forever HD. Um, I got the little sample from Sephora. So, and I, the color is way too, it's not, it's like way too yellow. Um, but I'm going to mix it in with the black radiance i always mix it in with either this one or my um my maybelline um pour and fit one. Ooh, i think this may be a little bit dark yeah it's gonna be a little bit dark but we'll try it out so ah, i forgot to put on a little bit of we'll just do this quickly for the discoloration and I have a bunch of discoloration like around my lips and then in my bag area and then I don't know why but it, right here in my nose so and I think it's because right here in my nose I um wear glasses and I used to wear glasses like every day and so for some reason I think um I was left with like the the line there oh I'm getting okay oh I think I'm gonna need something lighter though 
to like even out the orange. So usually, let's just check it out. So I have this, this huge, this is, yeah, I can already tell it's because it's orange. Um, the Hydra Beauty Blender from um, Real Techniques. Casey Holmes, not is her name Casey Holmes? Casey, <laughs> another YouTuber. She loves this one, and so I watch her too. Her, um, her tutorials too, and so she says she loves this, and I really do love it too. But I my nails always dig in, so I see, see how it's like separated here. Oh, that. Not too bad. Today I'm going to use the Rimmel concealer. And a lot of this stuff, I like this, but this is really, really, has a lot of yellow in it. But I like the yellow, you know, excuse me, in moderation, of course. So... But I do like, I like the coverage on this. I do like that. So let's go ahead. And I like to do first my concealer with my finger. So I just feel like the warmth, the warmth of my finger um, helps it blend a little bit more. So. And I usually use, um. LA girl but I've noticed that lately I'm wrinkling a lot like underneath my eye and do not like that no 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 so I'm gonna put on a little bit more see how I have these bags under here and I mean, I mean, I know that that um, those eye gel pads that we got in the box or any really is not gonna make miracles happen, but they definitely did help. Okay, they definitely did help. Okay. Well, I use a combo. So I use a combo of that I, a concoction that I mix myself between um, the uh, banana, what's this in the Makeup Revolution banana, which I really do like. And then the banana from, um, God, what is it called? Just the regular other banana one. From the one that Kim Kardashian's um, makeup professional person came out with, and everybody was like, "Oh my God, we might, we need that, we need that." I might just put the picture inside. So I do this, and then I just set it. Then I do like I try to. Just sit, sometimes like let it sit there and bake. Just because I find like, and it depends with what powders that I go in. Because um, if I do it for too long, it looks like just like really powdery and blotchy. I'm just going to sweep in. Okay, guys. Sorry. My phone died so I went ahead and just completed the eye I put the um, wing on and the lashes and I would have to do that anyways off of cover because I am not that good yet um, but yes yeah, so I went ahead and did that um, I extended the pink a little bit more into um, the corners of my eyes and so let's go ahead and I want to put on some mascara and this is a Clinique mascara um, and I got it in one of my Ipsy bags when I used to have Ipsy. So um, I'm just trying it now. And I actually do like it. Um, 
it does have a big brush but what I do like is that it helps me um, see it's like really big um, and but it does hold a lot of product in there and I can't go underneath so because it's too big me and then I'll just have to like be messed up with my makeup this is the lash accelerator um, I use this a lot como pueden ver. Um, so yeah, this in, this one is actually from Rimmel. God, a lot of my stuff is from Rimmel, no? Well, I got it on, um, when I bought, I got it on sale too with some coupons and stuff. So usually all of my stuff are, um, again, I don't like to pay full price for almost anything. Porque si no tengo que, you know, why do it? You know, I'm not rich, I'm not wealthy, and, you know, just getting stuff just to get it. But it would be nice. But de todas maneras, you know, I want to try to steal some of the stuff out, too. If I if I have to pay full price for some of the stuff and I really want it, I will. But most of the stuff, especially at drugstore, you know, I will. And as you can hear, I did let Panchito out porque me dio pena have him in there. And, you know, Lexi's out, but... Como te digo, Lexi's chill, like ella como si nada. So, okay. So, went ahead and did that. Put a little bit of the pink, also um, blue and purple underneath the lash line. So, that's awesome. Y después, uh, let's see. I want to go ahead and put um, this, the new color underneath in my, in my, waterline um and this is the scandalous eyes um from rimmel as well as well whoa rimmel i'm going heavy with rimmel aren't i but their stuff is pretty good so okay and it's so smooth like it doesn't take like anything like no tugging no nothing and i love that like it's so easy okay so there's that see how that opens your eyes and like I remember seeing it from um, Emily on YouTube who I was saying that I follow and she's got a new palette out you know good for her she's been on uh, YouTube she says for a long time I think she said like 10 years or something and she used to be an anchor on tv you know i mean it's so crazy from you know all walks of life you know people do um you know makeup and have a youtube channel and you know i mean why not right everybody you know starts off with the high side hustle you know one is you know their their real job which pays the bills the other you know their side hustle is usually you know extra money their passion what they really like to do so good for her i'm so happy i'm gonna purchase hers also, I'm going to purchase her, um, her palette. So I can't wait. She, I guess she has two. Um, oh, and I did went ahead and I put, um, this lash plump, I mean, the lash plumper, Dios mío, the lip plumper on my lips. And this one's a tinted pink and, and it does actually tint the, um, pink. So that was pretty awesome. Going with the Tarte. This one is the Tarte, um, with Shayla, um, collaboration that they have. And so, it's so funny, once they have the collaboration, like, you don't really see them, like, using their own stuff. Hi, guys. So, this is the final look. I put my hair piece in, so it'll give the makeup a little bit of more justice. This is the name of the wig. I still haven't customized it to fit me, so please don't judge me. <laughs> but I just love the way also the way it looks. So I'll give you guys a review on this a little bit later. But this is the final look. I had a great time. I hope you guys had a great time too. I know I need practice and practice makes perfect. So please will come and join me on my next um, adventure video and I hope to guys see you guys soon. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Ciao.